Hello and welcome to the Craftsman Show. My name is your host, the Craftsman. Today we're going to talk about how can you make a mold of something that you want to make a cast of it. You want to duplicate it. And how can you do it the fastest way possible? Well, I done use all kind of mold products in my day, in my life, in my time. And the best one that I like the most is the Easy Mold Silicone Putty. The reason why I like it is several. First of all, it's very fast. You can make a mold of something in 30 minutes. Secondly, it's very tough. The molds is durable. And least lastly, thirdly, place of all, the molds release the objects very easily. Easy Mold is a two-part mold putty. So you have a part A and then you got a part B. And you're going to take a mix, get you out one part, into a little ball about half of what you're going to need for your final size and make sure you get it with the one hand and get your other part B out with the other hand alright you don't want to mix the two sides once you got two evenly balls then you go ahead and mix it mix it mix it mix it and you want to see that it's a uniform color much as possible all right, take your object and then gently, carefully mush it up into the putty. And then what I like to do is place it down on the table and then mush, mush all around it, squish it, squish it. You want it to conform all around all the little details, the crevice or creases of your object because the mold is going to capture every little detail as long as you push it down into it. And then let it sit for 30 minutes. All right, your mold should be cured after about 30 minutes and it's time to demold. And you can just kind of flex your mold a little bit and bend out the object. And the object should pop out pretty easy. And there you go. You got a mold that's ready to go. You can make a copy of your object right now using a resin or in this case, we're gonna use epoxy scope. I use this for a lot of things. It's also an A part and a B part. And you mix it up, mix it up, and then it's going to start to cure. Once you've got it good and uniform, you want to stick it into your mold. Try not to put too much. Try to roll out a little ball of just about as much as you can need. As much as you're going to need for the mold. And then you want to push it down real good into your mold. Make sure it's pushed into all the little, the little creases, with crevice. Epoxy sculpt take overnight to, to cure. And then there you go. You got a copy of the object that you had did. Hold up, Craftsman, you talk about in the video that you're gonna make an object in an hour. I know I didn't. Quick steel. Quick steel is something you can get at an automotive store. You can use it to fix your radiator or you can make some other jewelry. Quick steel is also a, a mold putty, but it comes in one tube. The way it activates is when you start mushing, gushing, and squish it around, and knead it and roll it and cut and grief it, and gush and mush it, and then it's going to start to cure. In fact, within a few minutes, you'll feel it start to warm up, so you want to move pretty quick with quick steel. Mush it down into your mold real, real good. All right. Once you got it pressed down real, real good, then let it sit. I like to let mine sit for a, you probably one hour is good. Some of these hours are taken out within 30 minutes because I'll be trying to get the video done. I'll be impatient. But look at this. And instead of having to wait a day, then you got a result just in about an hour or less. Alright, we got some hoot out. Hello. Crass man, that don't look like metal. Alright, okay then. I'm going to show you how you can make it look like metal. This is some stuff called bronze powder. This is by a company called Illumilite. Here go a couple of little, a little metal powders by Jaquars. They are from France, I think. And then here go my favorite all time. Smooth on nickel silver powder. This right here is not cheap. 
But this right here been lasting me about more than two years, almost 30 years I had this stuff. And I use it for a variety of products and items of jewelry. Anyway, I'm going to show y'all first of all with a bronze powder how it look. Take a little brush and dust it all up in the mold. Not only on the bottom, but on the sides, the edges, everywhere you want to get this stuff. And then bang off the residual back into your container. Now, and then while you're at it, go ahead and do you another mold. This time I'm going to use the silver looking, silver looking powder. These are not real metal powder. These are synthetic. These are, these are mica powder, different kind of uh, synthetic to give a silver appearance, but they're not really uh, actual metal. Get your quick steel, roll you up a little ball, get it kneaded, kneaded, good, squishy, good, squishy, and then press it down in there good in that mold. All right, and then we're going to go ahead, press it down. You want it to squeeze into all the little details, all the little nuts and cranny. And then wait, and then let's see what it looks like. In this case, this is the bronze powder. I probably only waited 30 minutes to demold it, and that's what you can expect with that. And then here go the uh, silver one. And that's what it looked like with the uh, Jaquar uh, silver powder. Mm -hmm. But this right here, the best for last, my favorite. You may not like it, but I really like the realistic metal result. How come you get a realistic result? Because this right here is real metal powder. So you want to dust it all around. And this is heavy because it's real, like I said, it's a nickel silver powder. So you want to put you a little bit in and then rotate it, rotate it, rotate it. Let it fill in all the crevices of crease, crevices, the creases, creases and crevices. And then tap it and then dump it back into the uh, little container because you don't, you don't want to waste this. All right. Now we're ready to get the quick steel and go to town with it. Need you up some quick steel. Knead it up real good and uniform. You know how it goes by now. You professional by now. All right. Then we want to take about as much as we're going to need and push it down into there. Make sure it's in there good, good. Now it might want to pull out on you, so you might want to wet your fingertip a little bit to keep it from sticking. And here's what it looked like after 30 minutes. And you notice it does not look shiny. But don't worry. That's where the fun part comes in. Take you a spoon and you can burnish it. Look at the edges, how they start to stand out and shiny. That's because it's real metal rubbing against real metal. Then take you some steel wool. I got some fine steel wool, start rubbing all over. And then that's how that look. And then when you want to take it to the extra next level, that's when you get some shoe polish. Watch this. Just rub it all up in, let it fill in the little detail, and then take that steel wool again and just go to town on it. Just work it, work it, work it, and then look at this. I was real pleased with the result, keeping in mind that this is not actually solid metal. I hope you can see the potential for something like this that you can make all kind of duplicates. So get creative with it. You can make necklaces, pendants, anything that your mind can think of that you can do. Thank you for watching another one of my videos and I hope that you have a blessed day.